Hi, welcome to nextcell.com. In this video, I am going to show how to install Trainers 11 in a VMware virtual machine. Trainers is a free and open source network attached storage like NAS. It is a software based on FreeBSD. It's just like a storage server. You can manage your uh, storage protocols like NFS, ISCSI, Samba, and many more. And also, you can install FreeBSD virtually at any hardware platform. And also, it supports Windows, Unix, and other very virtual hosts like. Uh, Zen server, VMware, and many more. Let me go for the installation. I'm going to install this on uh, VMware Workstation 12.0. Go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings. I already configured the basics requirements of uh, this free NAS installations. Can give minimum 4 GB for testing purpose. Recommended is 8 GB and you can give hardest size depends upon your disk capacity and select the ISO image where you are located from your server and also select the network adapter options after that click OK to complete now I am going to power on this virtual machine just click this power on this virtual machine now it's booting select the option choose install and upgrade press enter now select the hard disk size give spacebar to select the hard disk and click enter to ok now click yes root password enter the root password for freenas After giving root password, now select OK to continue. Now choose the booting option. I am going to choose boot via BIOS. This installation will take some time until you have to wait. Now the installation got completed. Click OK to reboot. Select Reboot System. Press Enter. Now the installation of uh, Freenas is completed. Now I am going to configure basic network configuration. For that you should choose option 1. Press 1 and press enter to continue. Press no. Again choose no. Now configure IPv4. Press Y. Now give any interface name. I am going to give em1 press enter now enter the IP address I'm going to give my static IP sorry 168.7.207 press enter and also I'm going to specify my net mask here itself press enter if you want to configure IPv6 means you can proceed with S yes option. Here I am not going to configure IPv6. So choose option N and press enter. The network is restarting. After restarted, my web user interface for Freenas is shown here. I am going to use this IP to access Freenas through web interface. Now enter your Freenas IP address to access Freenas through web interface press enter now enter the root password to login Freenas now we successfully login into Freenas server 
you can see the basic inform system info information about your freenas it has lot of options like systems task networks storages and the directories for LDAP, NFS, and uh, Samba configurations and sharing and services. It shows the list of available services presented in Freenas. The services shown in red means it will be stopped, it will be green means it will be on. So, upcoming tutorial we discuss about how to configure NFS storages and other process presented in uh, Freenas. That's all about this tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Linux Help. For further tutorial visit linuxhelp.com. Any queries mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.